method of measurements have historically always been produced in order to provide the construction industry with a standard set of rules for various aspects of a construction project. This includes estimating, cost planning, procurement, and even whole life costings for construction projects of all shapes and sizes. The whole idea behind adopting standard methodology is to facilitate consistency, assist in avoiding disputes, and help provide guidelines for benchmarking. This video will aim to provide a brief history of the evolution of the standard method of measurement into the new rules of measurement, or NRM, which is what the industry widely uses today. We will then provide an overview of what each of the three volumes of the new rules of measurement provides, NRM1, NRM2 and NRM3. If you would like to see a video which explains each of these volumes in more detail, then please search our channel as these will very shortly be uploaded for you to view. That's if they aren't already by the time you watch this. We will also add the links to the description below for easy access once they are released. The Standard Method of Measurement, SMM, was published by the Royal Institute of Charter Surveyors, RICS for short. It was first published in 1922, superseding a Scottish Standard Method of Measurement, which was published in 1915. SMM went on to have seven editions published, finishing with SMM7 and its latest revision in 1998. Since then, SMM7 has been replaced by the New Rules of Measurement suite of documents, which was first published in 2009, again by RICS. SMM7 has since been rendered almost completely redundant due to advances in technology and health and safety, so technically should not be adopted on projects after July 2013. It is suggested by RICS that together the new suite of documents will better reflect the way the industry works. For example, better meeting of the client's needs, providing more upfront detail, allowing better consideration of the full cost of a construction project. For example, marketing costs, fees and charges, the cost of acquiring land, planning costs, relocation costs, the cost of finance and so on. And also, it aims to provide a better methodology for quantifying risk. RICS also suggests that it will facilitate greater cross-industry working, the introduction of building information modelling, and provide effective analysis of the cost of construction projects. So what are the three volumes that make up the new rules of measurement suite? Let's take a look. NRM1 is Order of Cost Estimating and Cost Planning for Capital Building Works. NRM1 provides guidance on the quantification of building works for the purpose of preparing robust cost estimates and cost plans. Direction is also given on quantifying other construction project costs which are not reflected in the measurable building work items, such as preliminaries, overheads and profit, project and design team fees, risk allowances, inflation, and other development and project costs. NRM1 aims to be the cornerstone of enabling good cost management on projects. NRM2 is for the detailed measurement for building works. The main purpose of NRM2 is to provide guidance on the preparation of bills of quantities, or BOQs for short. The rules address all aspects of bills of quantities. This includes production, including setting out the information required from the employer and other construction consultants to enable a BOQ to be prepared. It also deals with the quantification of non-measurable work items, contractor designed works and risks. Guidance is also provided on the content, structure and format of BOQs, as well as the benefits and uses. NRM3 is the order of cost estimating and cost planning for building maintenance works. NRM3 provides guidance on the quantification and description of maintenance works. It aims to support individuals and companies in preparing initial order of cost estimates during the preparation stages of a building project, cost plans for all the phases, and guidance on the procurement and cost control for all things related to maintenance, rather than the initial construction of a building or structure. If this video has been helpful and of interest to you, then why not visit and explore some of our other playlists? We have Rick's Chartership, Construction Careers, General Construction and much, much more. Matrone, a commercial hub to your business.